guys, welcome back to my channel. So, totally bumming it today. We actually had plans to go do all kinds of things, get out of the house, and then the weather is acting a fool, so it's turned into one of these days. I just wanna stay home and chill with my dog. Dogs, cats, kids, PJs, hoodie, Netflix, yes. But I figured if I was gonna be home, I might as well go ahead and just film a quick haul video for you guys. So before I get started, of course, if you are not subscribed to my channel, go and hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. And let's go ahead and get started. So I have some things from over the last few weeks. I mean, obviously, I just like to show you guys the good stuff, right? Like I've kind of tried to narrow down my hauls. I just feel like it gets to be a lot. And so I want to show you guys the good stuff. And so this is the good stuff. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's go ahead and start with some Tiffany. You guys know, Prior to these, I haven't had any Tiffany. So I, I'm in the past I have, but I felt like those pieces that I've really, really grown out of, just the style, I was kind of over like the oversized hearts and all that stuff. My husband actually picked me up something. It ended up being something that I just felt like wasn't my style anymore. So we did take it back and I picked up two pieces. So I have two little boxes here. I've already got them pulled out. I love Tiffany's boxes and stuff, the colors. I always hate like, what do you do with these? Cause they're so cute, they're so beautiful, but what do you do with them, right? Like they're just so pretty. So I'll probably keep them for a little while and then we'll see, we'll see, I don't know. But anyways, um, the, let me show you the first piece that I have. It's so stinking cute. It is this ring. I love it. It's just really, 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 really simple. And it just has some engraving. It just says um, 925 T and Co. 1837. I got it to go in on this finger. I just think it looks really, really nice on that finger. So I had to get a size seven to go, I think seven or six, I can't remember. But anyways, I got it to go on this hand. I just thought it would really, really nice kind of coordinating with like, you know, this could be like my everyday like set like this, I just thought it was really, really cute. And then I got kind of the coordinating necklace, I guess you could say. It's a circle necklace. What I like about this one is, it, one, it says the same exact thing as the ring does, but it says it on both sides. So no matter which side that it falls, it, it's, it says that like, here, let me show it to you. Let me see if I can get you a close up of it. But it's just really, really simple. And I do know that this ring does come in two different sizes and I did get the smaller one. I just like the simplicity of it, the daintiness of it. And so I just, you know, went for those two pieces. So I love them. Okay. So let's go ahead and get into some like a beauty and skincare. Let me go ahead and show you these little lip pots that I have. And the company is from um, Emily Cordon. They actually did send me these, so just FYI, they did send me these. They wanted me to kind of check them out, give me their opinion, um, give me my opinion on them, give them my opinion on them, I guess I should say. Um, they are lip pots, and I just love the overall look and feel of this company. It is, they're based out of New York, everything is made in the USA, um, and everything just kind of looks really kind of vintage and old school, and like kind of going back to that like, really beautiful packaging, which I love. They sent me two. They sent me the number 43 Pamela and the number one Lisa. Um, they're all made in the USA too, which I also think is cool. Now I've only used one of them, which is the number one Lisa. And I love it. I love it. Let me show you the number 43 uh, Pamela first. I love their packaging. It's just really, really cute. I think just even, this would make just such a little fabulous gift. If you're putting together like little gifts or you wanted to ship something directly to somebody, I just think it's so pretty. Um, they do come with these little spatulas. Um, I've never really used spatulas for lip balms. I don't mind digging my, my finger up in there, but if that's something that you prefer to have or you know, whatever, then yes and then it has the gold top now this one is kind of like a really really soft lavender color and then you can see I haven't used this one I wanted to show you guys a clean pot so you can see just what it looked like really really pretty it's a glass top again another reason why I think it makes a great gift it's just really really kind of fancy feeling right it just feels fancy which I think is really really nice and here is the one that I've been using it also came with a spatula in there this one is pink and this one is rose champagne or rose champagne this one is like a Mediterranean fig or something it smells really really nice um, and so this is the one that I've been using same gold lid which I just think is really really pretty 
same bottom but you can see I've been using this one I love it now if you want to compare like my La Mer lip balm this one is definitely like a wetter formula so I actually really like the way this one feels over the top of lipstick so I love using this one throughout the day you guys know that my La Mer is more of like my night lip balm I consider that it's really really thick and waxy so I think that one's really really good for kind of like a night mask lip balm just my personal preference I think those thicker ones don't tend to layer well with lip products because they kind of I don't know don't don't blend well together and because this one's really really wet I just think it goes really really nicely over the top or, or even underneath because it's not super thick so I just really like these they are really really soft but it's also multi-use which I think is pretty cool you can use it for your cuticles you can use it for like an after sun protection you can actually even apply it on your face so if you have like really really dry areas you can you know put it like if you, if you get dry around your mouth or whatnot so I think it's really really nice I did use it on my cuticles and I liked it I did. It soaked into my nails really, really nicely, and I just liked the way that it felt. So I would check these. I would check these guys out, guys. The, I'll put the link down below. I just think they're super cute, and I always love trying like a nice lip balm. You guys know I am all about trying some lip balm. So I will definitely check those out. Like I said, they're made in the USA. It says nourish, soften lips, reduce lip lines, anti-aging, improve circulation on skin. Hmm. Really, really, really nice. So I just think these are pretty pretty cool and I love the packaging like I said make great great gifts okay so I also went by Saks you guys know most of the time especially skincare and beauty products beauty products I order online but I happened to go into Saks two or three weeks ago I've actually had these for a little bit and I actually forgot they were in here and so I have two bags from Saks I was stocking up on some skincare Saks had sent me like a percentage off of La Mer just because I'm a La Mer customer and because I order most of my stuff, my La Mer stuff from Saks.com. So they sent me a coupon and I wanted to use it. And so I did pick up a couple of products from La Mer. I went ahead and got a re, um, you know, a backup for my La Mer creme de La Mer. This time I bought the two ounce jar. I've never bought the two ounce jar before guys, but because I had that coupon, I went ahead and took advantage. So I did get a two ounce of my creme de La Mer. And then I also picked up a lip balm. I am not out of the current uh, La Mer lip balm, but you guys know that, like I said, I do like using this one at night. This one is something more that I think is good throughout the day and touch-ups and stuff. Whereas I prefer this one as my night lip balm. So I went ahead and picked that up as well since I had the coupon and those are just kind of two products that I just over you like I definitely are repurchases for me and then also she gave me some samples she gave me three samples of the revitalizing hydrating serum so she gave me three of those samples and then I asked her to make me a sample of the other serum I cannot remember the name of it usually she labels them and she didn't label them that this one so I'm not 100% sure what the name of this one but it's their other it's their other serum so i'm excited to give those a try guys do not forget to ask for samples or just go ask for samples even if you're not making a purchase don't be shy go ask the worst they can say is no right right it's not no big deal so while i was there um, i went ahead and picked up this um sk2 it's the essence set i have been wanting to try the sk2 essence for quite a while and i'm so glad that i picked it up i've actually already been using it i've been using it for five or six days and I love it. And the reason why I had hesitated to buy it was because it is really, really pricey. And it's not like it was going to replace one of the skincare products that I was already using. So it is an essence water. It's like an essence. It's called facial treatment essence. And when you look it in the bottle, it's like the consistency of like a toner. It's very, very watery. So at first, a lot of people think that it replaces your toner and it doesn't. You still actually use your toner. You put this on after. So this isn't a wipe off. You actually, it, the top is really, really unique. It has like a tiny little hole. You can see the tiny little hole and it like, you can let out like, I usually do two drops of water. And when I say two drops of water, I mean it's literally two drops of this liquid. And then you kind of rub it in your hands and then you press it into your skin after your toner, but before all your other skincare. And I'm loving it. And I'm kind of like hating that I'm loving it, but I love it. So I picked up this set. What was nice about the set is if you were to buy this size and this is the two and a half ounce, it's $99. Well, the set was $99. And I got two products with the set. I got the SK2 facial treatment mask, which this alone is like $19. 
and I love it. This is the first SK2 product and only SK2 product I've tried prior to this one, and I really, really like it. So you get this free, and then you also get a sample like a deluxe sample of their facial treatment clear lotion, which is their toner. So you would use this first and then you would use this after. And I've been using this and I'm already loving it. I really, really am. Um, I do think, you know, I've used it for, like I said, five or six days and you can barely see how much is used. So even though it's $99 for this size, maybe it will last forever. So we will see. Um, if I've been using this for almost a week, I have a feeling that this is going to last multiple months. So if that's the case, it's not that bad. But if you've been looking to try this, try this. Order this set. I highly recommend ordering this set. I think it's a good value. I really, 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 really do. Okay, so let's get into the Louis Vuitton stuff. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Um, I have two items from Louis Vuitton. Now, the box that they gave me was this huge, huge box. It's actually, they didn't give me a bag. They put both of my items inside this box. And it's one of their luggage boxes. And so it was really, really, it's just big and awkward. So I do have my receipt. Here is my receipt. Let me show you the first thing that I picked up. It is a smaller item. Let me grab. It is a smaller item and it is the only, I think it's the only item I have like this actually that's like legitimately meant for this purpose. So it did come in this um, drawstring box, of course the newer packaging. It also has a small dust bag there. So let me pull the item out. It's really cute. I'm excited to have it. I've been eyeing this item for pretty much, well I've been eyeing it since it came out and I had... I just couldn't take the plunge. It just was to me really, really pricey for what the item is. And I kind of decided, I was literally checking out and I said, you know what, go ahead and get me that. Do you have one? Yes, I'll take one. And I went ahead and added it and I didn't even really look at it in the store. I, I kind of looked at it at the first time whenever I got it home and I love it. It really is beautiful. And I picked up this bag charm and it is the tassel bag charm and of course in monogram. They do have it in like a pink color and then they have it in one other color, I cannot remember. Um, I do not have any dedicated bag charms, guys. You guys know I use like the luggage tags or I use like the clochettes or something. And I do, I love those. I like simple bag charms. Um, or like, for instance, I have like that one fun, like colorful one, that's different, right? Like I'm talking more like everyday. That one's great for like a specific style, a specific look, or if you're going to the beach or you're looking like really tropical if you're on a vacation. But like for everyday year round, I like really, really simple ones. And I thought this one was really nice. I've been into tassels lately and I just think this one's really, really pretty. It's still in the packaging, which is cool. So it's got the nice like packaging and then of course the ring and everything. So I just think it's really, really pretty. I feel like just the simplicity is really nice. So I'm excited to try this and kind of see what it looks like on my bags and, and yeah, but I like it. I think it's pretty. It'll probably be my only bag charm, just being honest, just because I'm not really, really big into a lot of them. I love them and I can totally appreciate the beauty of them. And I love looking at them on like other people's bags on like Instagram and stuff. But for me, I just feel like they're just really expensive. I don't know. So anyways, here is the, um, here's the, uh, the code if you want to order this item. I love it. I love it. Okay, so the last item that I have, and actually, no, no, oh my goodness. Okay, before I show you my second Louis Vuitton item, I have got to show you this other item that I ordered online and I just got it in. If you follow me on my blog or if you've gone to my blog, you know that I was shopping for three things and I ordered one of them. I went ahead and took the plunge and ordered one. So let me grab it. It is a bigger item. I love it. I think it's so, 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 so cute. I'm so glad that I was able to like personalize it and all that stuff. So let me show you, it's big. And it is a carry-on luggage. How stinking cute is this? I love the color. I love that it's like that creamy white color and then it's got the, the brown and kind of all the accents. It looks really old school. I just love it. I love that they were able to personalize it. They do that for free, which is really, really nice. It is TSA compliant, so you can lock it and do all that. Um, it's got this 
click on a handle, which I think is really nice. I love it. Now this is the carry-on size. They also have a, um, a larger check size. And I wasn't at all considering getting the larger size. I 100% I was like, nope, I just want the carry-on size. Now that I have this and I have it and I see it in person, I kind of want the checked size as well. Now, I'm not saying I would actually check it, but like for, I don't know, but I'm considering getting the larger size. That's how much I love this bag. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into my last Louis Vuitton item, and I'm really excited to have this. I've owned one similar to it, but I needed to get this one, and so let me go ahead and grab it. And of course, it came in that big box, so I don't have like, and it did come with a dust bag, but I'm just not, I'm not gonna show you the dust bag, because it's just huge, there's just no point. And so let me show you. Here is my new Keep All Bandolier in the 45 size. How stinking cute! I still need to get the luggage tag stamped and everything. I will do that. I'll do that later. I'm not really that like in a hurry, but it's so beautiful. I did have them stuff it and put like the um, stuffing in it so that whenever I just, I didn't want it to come home flat or anything because I wasn't sure how long it was going to take me to film, but it's already started. Like you can see the lines have already started to come out since it's been sitting like this since I purchased it. But I love it. It's just so beautiful. You guys know that I gave my husband my 50 size. The 50 was in really bad shape. The canvas was ha the canvas had some damage, so it couldn't be repaired. Um, so I also I also felt that the 50 was just I don't know. I, I don't want to say it was too big, but I wanted to try the 45 size. Now that I have the 45 size, just kind of even trying it on, I actually really am happy with the 45 size. I wish I would have, well, I want to say I wish I would have gotten the 45 size from the beginning. I think it's good to kind of, you know, you never really know until you know, you know. And so now that I have the 45, I love the 45. I think it looks better on my body frame. And I think it's going to be more comfortable whenever I'm carrying it when it's full because the 50 would get sometimes a little bit heavy for me, guys. So that is it, guys. There is my haul. Here are the two items that I picked up from Louis Vuitton. How cute. This would even be cute on here, right? How cute is that? Um... So yeah, that's what I picked up, guys. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I will link everything that I showed you down below, of course. Do not forget to subscribe, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Talk to you soon. Bye-bye.